Professor Luminati. Uh, for today's tutorial, I want to talk to you how you can uh, link objects together. So I'm going to go out to the virtual world. And many times when we're building, we create more than one primmed objects. And you know, you can see we've got a few uh, builds just in the distance here. But I'm going to create one from scratch just to show you. And if I go down here, I'm going to click my build button. And the first thing I'm going to do is just make a rectangular prism here. And I'm going to do that by stretching this cube out. And this is going to be the first part. I'm going to create a little work of art here. Trust me, it'll be fantastic. And then my for my second object, I'm just going to close. I'm going to click the build button again. And I'm going to make a sphere. And I'm going to put the sphere kind of inside it, and I'm just going to stretch this out a little bit. So I'm going to stretch it out, grab the gray handles. Okay, so this is going to be kind of a sphere inside a uh, cylinder, and I'm just going to move it around a little bit so it looks like the work of art you think it's going to be. And here we go. So now I've got two objects together. I've got this uh, rectangular prism, and then I've got this sphere. And I'm going to link them together. I want to act them to act as one. So I'm going to go over here to the, I'm in the General tab. I'm going to click on the Object tab. And notice I don't have anything. There's a Link and Unlink button here, but they're not linked together. So I, what I need to do, I'm going to use my camera controls. I love using camera controls when building. But you need to select both objects. So I'm in the editing menu, but I'm going to click and drag off both objects and then try and capture both objects together. And you'll see them kind of get highlighted together. So I've got, I've selected both items. Now notice in this object tab, I've got the link button and it's highlighted, which means I can link both of these together. If you select an object that's not yours, you will not be able to link those together. Just keep in mind, and also keep in mind if you have some other objects outside that you don't want linked, uh, you need to make sure you don't select those or it will link it all together. So I'm just going to click the link button. And notice the unlink button is right here. So if I need to and want to later on unlink these objects, I can do it. But now this object is going to act as one object, both the sphere and the um, rectangular uh, rectangular object are going to work together. So, but say later I decide after I've done all my building that I want to texture these items a different way. Now, one thing you could do is just unlink them, but then again, if you bump them around or move them around, they may get out of place. There is a great little trick you can do. Um, if I go back to editing, noticing I'm editing the object, if you go to the General tab, there is a checkoff box here that says Edit Link Parts. And what this will let you do is let you work on the individual parts without moving them or changing their location um, or the object itself. So if I click on that checkoff box, now I can click on the uh, rectangular prism or I can click on the sphere. I can choose either one without changing the other. So I'm just going to click on the sphere first. I'll go to the Texture tab. I'll click on the texture square, and let me just choose a quick texture from this. We'll go to the uh, holiday house texture for this. I'll just choose the awning. That's kind of a fun one. I'll choose that one for the sphere, and then I'm going to click on the rectangular prism, and I'll click the texture there. And let me just see if there's a quick strike I can do. Let's see. Um, Go down to these textures. We'll also choose the holiday sphere. We'll choose maybe a different one. Uh, we'll do maybe redwood floor tile. And we'll let that res in for a sec. Shouldn't take too long. There it is. And we'll click select there. Okay. So even though these objects are connected, they're linked together, I can change the texture. So now if I click off, notice I've done that. So in this tutorial, you learned how to link objects. And then you learned how to uh, edit the linked parts. So I hope this was informative. I'll see you in the next tutorial.